So in this video, let us solve some problems based on bar graphs. The question reads like this. The following data gives the number of students of Delhi State who went abroad for study during some years. So the year and the number of students. In the year 1995, 1,400 students went abroad for study. In the year 1996, it's 1,600. In the, in the year 1997, it is 1,250. In the year 1998, it is 1,000. In the year 1999, it is 2,000. And in the year 2000, it is 2,200. Now, let us see how do we go about solving this problem. Now, we need to represent the data with the help of a bar graph. That is the problem. So, the solution is, in order to construct a bar graph representing the data given here, we need to follow the following steps. Now take a graph paper and draw two mutually perpendicular lines, OX and OY, as I'm going to show you now. Draw, uh, take a graph sheet, you need to draw two mutually perpendicular lines, that is, is this, and one more is this. So these two lines are perpendicular to each other. Now, let us name the vertex as O. The x axis is going to be OX and the y axis is going to be OY. So now let us call OX as the horizontal axis and the OY as the vertical axis. Now, along OX, mark years and along OY, mark the number of students. So let us mark the years along the x axis. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six years. So let us mark them here now. 1995, it's going to be small due to the lack of space here. 1996, 1997, 1998, 1999, and 2000. So we've got the years marked. The next thing we got to mark the number of students along y axis. So the maximum number of students is 2,200 and the minimum is 1,400. So let us try and give it a good division between these to get a good looking graph. So now, along OX, we need to choose a uniform or the equal width of the bars and the uniform gap between them according to the space available for the graph sheet. And then choose a suitable scale to determine the heights of the bars according to the availability of space. So I've got so much space. So now let us calculate the heights of the various bars as follows. Now how are we going to find out the height? By the divisions that we have here. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we've got 12 divisions here. So that is how we are going to measure the heights of the bars. Let us calculate the height of the bars. So the height of the bar of the year 1995 is equal to 1400 divided by 200, which is 7 divisions. The number of students for the year 1995 are 1400, and we have split the number of students into 200. So the divisions here are 200 each. So therefore, we need to draw a vertical bar of 7 divisions for the year 1995. So we first have to choose suitable lengths here. So let us do that now. Something like this. So let us now first draw the height of the bar for the year 1995. So we've got 7 divisions. That is, it needs to touch 1,400. So the first bar is done. Now let us go back to the second bar. Height of the bar for the year 1996 is 1,600 by 200, which is 8 divisions. So let us now draw the bar for this. Height of the bar for the year 1997 comes up to 6.25 divisions, so which we have to carefully make a mark here. So 6.25, the sixth division comes here, and we need to choose 0.25 between this. The half comes somewhere here. So 0.25 should come in between half and that. So it's come somewhere here. So let us now draw for that 1997. So here we are. Now we need to have the uniform spaces between the bars. So I'm trying as much as I can to do that, but using a ruler, you need to do really accurate in your graph sheets. Now let us find out the height of the bar for the year 1998. So it's 1000 by 200, which is five divisions. So five divisions, we've got something like this. We need to match up to 1000, so here we are. 
Yes, here it is. And now height of bar for the year 1999, which is 2000 by 200. And that is a 10 divisions. So this is going to be one of the tallest bars up till now. And the final one coming up now. Height of bar for the year 2000, which is 2200 by 200. That is 11 divisions. So this definitely is the tallest bar that we've got out there in this problem. So 11 divisions touches 2,200. So here we are. So and then we write on top of these the values of them. This is 1,400. This is 1,600. This is 1,250. This is 1,000. This is 2,000. And this is 2,200. So this is how we construct a bar graph. These calculations are very important to make the bar graph look really proportionate and accurate. And it has to support, it has to back the numbers that we write on top of the bars here. If it is 1000, it has to look a 1000. It shouldn't look a 2000. If it is a 2000, it should look a 2000. That is how it's done. So this ends an example problem on the construction and also problems based on bar graphs.